recurring theme across our research has been the importance of finding a good team and getting some good co-founders. So can you tell, tell us a little bit more about how that team came together and the role that each of you played in developing probably firstly the research and this finding that you, you're talking about, but also in developing the business? Sure. So, um, so my co-founders are really two uh, members of academic staff who I've worked alongside for a long time and have been doing some research projects with. And we come from quite different backgrounds and we've got very different interests and different expertise. And that's worked really well in terms of the research projects. And as a result of that um, collaboration, we have made some discoveries that were really unexpected and I think none of us would have made individually. So scientifically, it's worked really, really well. In terms of the spin out, it's also working really, really well because we've got very, very different personalities and different um, ways of looking at things, I think. So one of my co-founders is uh, full of ideas. He has ideas sparking off him all of the time. And some of the real innovations that we've made have been as a result of following ideas that he's had. But I don't think he'll mind me saying that he's not so good at seeing those ideas through and coming to a, a kind of a, uh, a conclusion. Uh, whereas my other co-founder is much more pragmatic, much more able to see the bigger picture and to sort of see where we need to go for the, the next step in the, in, in the process. And so those different kind of ideas and approaches have worked really, really well, as well as us bringing different expertise in terms of the actual science and so on. I think also something that for me has been tremendously important is that uh, both my co-founders I've worked with for a long time, I know them really well, and I trust them absolutely uh, in terms of, I think they're very honorable and, and good people who are gonna be great to work with in, the, in this new venture. And also I like them very much and we all get on very well. And I think that's been tremendously important too. Have you each um, allocated yourselves roles within the spin out yet? Because I know from some of our research that it's getting the idea of the different roles that are available for different researchers to play to their strengths, that not everybody wants to or is the best place to be a CEO of a spin-out company. Yes, I mean, so far, so far, the different roles within the company have worked very well in that um, I think right from the start, we were all aware that we were interested in different aspects of it. So one of my co-founders is very, very interested in the, in the kind of the science and the ideas and, and the... Uh, the, the amazing things that we can do uh, in terms of pushing forward the technologies and so on. I'm very interested in the science, but I'm not so interested in the business side of things. My other co-founder is very, very interested in the idea of setting up a company and being involved in the actual, you know, kind of business side of, of things. So, so far, those different um, interests have, have worked together very well. Uh, so yeah, I think that that idea of everybody having different roles is really important. And for me, that was very important as well, because right from the start, I was aware that I wasn't so terribly interested in the nuts and the bolts of the business and in, you know, talking to the investors and that kind of thing. I was much more interested in the science and the ideas behind it. So um, yeah, the idea that you can have different uh, involvements, I think, is really important and shouldn't put people off, I suppose. Mm -hmm.